Okay then, for our start today's RetroBat setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So, a question I get repeatedly is how do I save and load games? This is actually surprisingly simple. We've got a couple of different methods of doing this. So, first of all, what we're going to do is open up RetroBat and I'm using the latest 6.3.1 for this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do once we're inside a retro bat is just press start button which opens up main menu. From here, if we drop down to controller settings, we're going to map the controller first. So press A, or I'm using A on my Xbox controller to do this, and we're going to press OK. Now we've got to configure input, so if you hold down any button on your controller, it's going to register it as you just seen briefly there, it said Xbox controller. So first of all, we need to map out each one of these. Okay, and finally we got hockey. Now this one's very important and you need to remember which button you're pressing to operate the hockey. I'm going to press my Xbox button, the middle button, which close up that is. I'm going to press OK. Now we've got everything mapped out. What we're going to do is go into Sega Master System. I've got a game in here. Now, first of all, for this to work, we're using RetroWatch. Just remember, not everything in RetroBat is going to work or saving loads with this method I'm using. This is predominantly for RetroWatch. So to find out if your game you're playing is using a RetroWatch core, very simply press select button on your controller or the equivalent, view options, advanced system options, Options. Open up emulator and everything RetroArch is going to say Libretro. So it's RetroArch, Libretro, Libretro, RetroArch, same thing. So generally around 75-80% systems are running RetroArch for your game size. So for example, Master System here by Auto is going to be using the RetroArch core Genesis Plus GX. So if we open up this game. Okay, so what I'm going to do is play a little bit of Sonic 2 at super hyper speed. As you can see just here, this is running very fast. So what we're going to do is activate a save. So I'm going to save it right from this point just here. I'm going to press my Xbox button, simultaneously pressing my X button. And as we can see, this will say save state to slot 9. Now if I play the game a little bit further, I'm going to load back that save. So um, to do this, I'm going to press the Xbox button with my Y button. Now we've got another method of doing this. For some reason, whatever reason, if you can actually use your hotkey, which I hear a lot of, if you press the F1 key on your keyboard, you can actually go down to save states here inside of RetroWatch quick menu. And we can also save the different slots. So, for example, if I want to save to slot 16, save state, play the game a little bit further at super hyper speed, and if I then press my F1 key again on my keyboard, load state, and here we go, we're now back to where I just saved it from, it really is that simple. Okay, and as you can see, saving load states work just fine, so I've just quit at the game, obviously. And I'm just going to make a note just there that there's a thousand different saves per game. When I went into save slots just a minute ago, you would have seen 0 to 999. That just means, literally, we can save a thousand different saves per game using RetroWatch course. And that's it for today's RetroBat in how to save and load games using RetroWatch. So fairly simple, it's just a question of remembering where your hotkey button is. And that's why I went through the mapping the controller, just so you know that you definitely need to use the hotkey whilst pressing another key to activate, save and load functions anyways if you like the video today hit notification subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content i will also leave pins in my comment section two of my retro bat playlists if there's a particular guide you're looking for guaranteed i've highly likely covered it also join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro